It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Los Angeles Chargers and the Atlanta Falcons. And it's coming up next. First Open in 2017. Here's a look inside the one-of-a-kind setting for football. That is Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in Atlanta. The home of the Falcons. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson here in the booth. Carter, these are a couple of teams that struggled a year ago. Finished out in the playoffs. Under 500. But the Virginia love at the NFL. A new season brings renewed optimism. Absolutely. And really, Mike, a lot of new faces at critical places. I mean, there is a lot of new pieces to the puzzle here. Both coaching staff and the roster of players. They believe last year is over. They do not think there is any correlation between the squad they're planning to put on the field today and that one that we saw some growing pains and struggles just a year ago. Cameron Dicker has the ball teed up as we get underway. And off we go here in Atlanta. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. Following the kickoff, we have an injured player on the field. Not something you want to see in the opening minute of the game. fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. Right to the air. It's Cousins. There's Kyle Pitts with the gun. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. What a luxury. By certain teams, when they have a guy like this, I mean, not only is he the big target, but then to have that size and speed to run away from these linebackers and do so much of his damage after the catch. London brought in motion. Off the play fake, here's Cousins. Right on the foul. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. These are the kind of plays that when you draw them up on the chalkboard, Mike, they all look great. But if you can't protect long enough, you're never going to get the receiver. I mean, think, he started on the left side of the formation in the slot, and he has to run all the way across the field to the right third. I mean, that takes a lot of time. Let's give a lot of credit to the big guys up front. He's got this to be John Robinson. And he's not going to be able to get away very good coverage on the perimeter. It goes down as a loss of yards. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Now the second-year man out of Texas, Dijon Robinson. He's going to be knocked down at the 12-yard line. Wow, well, this is the advantage to having a really effective passing game, Mike, as the defense now tries to adjust to stopping you through the air. It's a lot easier to mix it up and run the ball. There's a lot less defenders in there trying to stop it. Down at the 12. It's first and ten. From the shotgun. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by Derwin James. And the Chargers will take over here at their own 12. So you find yourself entering the red zone. Mike, it's hard to not start envisioning scoring a touchdown. Well, that interception, it changes everything. This is a huge missed opportunity. You have to capitalize and find a way to hang six on the defense. The Chargers led out by Justin Herbert in his fifth season out, Greg, as the Charger QB, a guy we saw win the offensive rookie of the year in 2020. His skill set can be determined by the letter A. Arm talent, accurate, athletic. And he's got a kind of aura about him. There's something special that they know when he's under center, we have a shot. First round pick. He's got everything you want for the quarterback position. He needs to take that next step from being a legitimate, bona fide franchise quarterback to a superstar in the NFL. 
throwing to get going. It's Herbert. He'll get back to his new target this season, DJ Trump. spot to operate from. Here's second and in inches. From the gun, it's Herbert. That's complete to his running back, J.K. Dobbins. And they'll pick up the first down, a gain of about four. We're starting to see this so often, Mike. The days of just having a running back who you're just going to turn around and hand it to, yes, that's still a critical part of NFL offensive football, but their ability to be used in the passing game. Just one more thing for the defense to have to defend. Make them go sideline to sideline, line of scrimmage to the end zone. Defend every blade of grass, and a really good running back goes a long way in doing it. Second down and eight. Shotgun now for Herbert. A throw on the move is caught. It'll be a pickup of 10. First down, L.A. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. Here's a second and six. Pistol here for Herbert. This week they were going to try to come out fast and tell you what that's exactly what they did put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know hey all game long today you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing and even though that ball falls incomplete it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as they back to the sideline and intercepted picked off by justin simmons well, we're getting a little test here early, Mike, to see just how easy is this team to wrap. Didn't look like they were able to get through that opening script that they had worked on all week. So I'm going to be curious on this next drive. Do they stick to the plan? Do they pick up where they left off? Or is there a little bit of a reaction, or dare I say panic, to come out and make some adjustments in response to that early interception? The Falcons offense ready to possess the football for the second time. They'll start with a short field, looking for the first points of this contest. And they'll begin first and ten. On the handoff, it's Robinson. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. Here's second and six. Pitts is the man in motion. Second down, Cousins. To the right, that's Pitts. And a good job rallying to the football, holding just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. out of the gun. It's Cousins. He'll get this to McLeod. A 19-yard pick up there. It's good for a Falcon first down. So after that turnover on the opening drive, the last thing you'd want to do here, Mike, is go back on the field and just go three and out. So they pick up a first down. They're able to extend this possession. It's going to go a long way towards just settling everybody in that offensive huddle down and letting the rest of this game unfold.
A first down throw for Cousins. That's to pitch the tight end. It's been a busy first quarter for him so far. His third pitch goes for a first down. Sudden change. So you find yourself defensively a little bit on your heels. Your offense just turned the ball over. Now you've got to go out and make a stand. Well, so far this offense has moved the ball pretty quickly. But can they dig in and at least force a field goal? They'll run with Robinson. They'll get a yard or two to the eighth, second, and goal. Here's second and goal. Cousin. That's hauled in at the two. Hard running close to the goal line, but they're going to mark him just short. These are the worst. I, I had a couple years, Mike, where I swear I got tackled inside the one-yard line ten times, and then you look back and you're like, man, how many touchdowns did I leave on the board because I couldn't get one more yard now for him individually not ideal but right now they're on the doorstep of the end zone under pressure and now he's going to go down back at the eight yard line the last thing you can afford in this situation mike is to take a sack you don't want to go backwards and make the fourth down try that much more challenging keep the ball on the ground even if you come up short you'd get another crack at it and I think now on fourth down, if they do go for it, it's got to come through the air. Fourth down, and the Falcons turn to young Wei Koo for the field goal. This, about as short as you can get. Koo's kick is good. And the Falcons are out to an early 3 nothing lead. Yeah, he does a nice job handling that kick there, but I think offensively, you come back to the sideline and you're thinking, we have to finish these drives. I mean, to be in first and goal and settle for three, that can be very deflating for an offense, settling for too many field goals. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Here's Lad McClunky to return. He'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. The Chargers offense ready for their second possession. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides. As this drive kicks off with first and ten. Here's Dobbins, and he'll only be able to muster a couple of yards. Caden Ellis in on that stop. Look him up on a second down and eight. On play action, now Herbert. That's to the tight end first. And he's going to be taken down at the 30-yard line. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. So as they look at the injured player, we'll take a timer. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Out of the gun, here's Herbert. Inside the 10, it is caught. And he's going to be taken down. Mike, I can't tell you how many corner routes I caught throughout my career. And there's really an art to it. At the top of the break, you have to give the quarterback what they call an indicator step. That's your cut where you set your angle. And then once that ball's out, Go chase it down, and in this case, he's able to pick up the first down. A couple of big plays, one after the other, and now it's first and goal. 
perfect. He connects with this one. And a good job to make sure he didn't get loose. Brought down around the seven. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. They'll give it to Dobbins. Stop at the six, and that sets up third and goal. good offenses in the NFL do, Mike. It's the ability to bounce back, even if the onset of the game doesn't go exactly according to plan. Everybody wants to take their opening possession and go down there and come away with a touchdown. But it's not always going to be perfect. You turn it over on possession one. What are you going to do in response on possession two? Well, we just got our answer, and they took it down for six. Dicker, good with the extra point. And the Chargers move out to a 7-3 lead. Touchdown, here's Dicker out to send this one away. Ray Ray McLeod on the return. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. Here comes the Atlanta offense now. They get set to take over once more. The trail by four, touchdown gives them the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. To throw is Cousins. That's caught left side by Pitts. Give him 14 on that play. One play, one first down. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker. Be friendly to the quarterback. And then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. Mike, the old adage, you run to set up the pass. This modern offense nowadays, we're starting to see that flipped upside down on its head. Typically, the success of the passing game is what allows teams to have success like this in the run game. Complete former first-round pick Drake London with the catch. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. I think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often. So that might be his first target. But I don't think it's going to be his last. And here's Bijan. And he'll get forward for a couple. It's second down. And that will be incomplete. They could not hook up on what will be the final play of this first quarter.
They need eight as they come up for third down. Here's Cousins throwing from the pistol. That'll be caught by the running back, Robinson. And it looks like he's going to have the first down. What great work after the catch to extend the drive. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design. Sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback. Getting into the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do after the catch. On first down, Cousins. That is not the way. Incomplete. Good coverage there defensively. All over him. And it'll be second down. You just can't say enough about how hard it is to play cornerback in today's modern NFL, Mike. I mean, not only are these wide receivers better than ever, but the way the rules are written, you're really out there on an island with not a lot of options. Your technique has to be perfect. Your time and the rush gets home. You go down. They got him. I can appreciate the idea of keeping the play alive, right? Giving as much time as possible to your targets to uncover downfield. But you also have to play to your strengths. you got to know the type of player that you are. In this case, doesn't have quite enough speed to get away and probably should have just thrown it away. So, backed up after the sack, and now it's third and long. Throwing now, Cousins. Oh, and once again, the pressure too intense. They get him down again. I don't have any real advanced analysis for this one, Mike. I mean, I think the simplest way to categorize it is this possession has been a disaster. So on fourth down... The Falcons bring on Bradley Pinion to punt. On the return for the Chargers, it's Darius Davis. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. Justin Herbert back out there. He and the Chargers getting set to go once more. The lead sits at four. So he'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. Now it's Dobbins. And that'll be good for about a half dozen. It'll set up second down. set up third down.
get one of the defenders to jump. The penalty helps a bit, but it's still third and long. From the gun, it's Herbert. this entire contest I mean his completion percentage Mike is well above league average and frankly it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front on fourth down out is J.K. Scott to punt for the Chargers Ray Ray McLeod deep to return this one fielded out beyond the 25 the Falcons offense ready for this next possession they'll start out first down and 10 Shotgun. It's Cousins. Creek London was the intended receiver there. And it'll be second down. If you want to be a top-notch NFL DB, of course, yes, the athleticism is a given. But it's really, you have to be instinctive. The instincts are what allow you to maximize those physical skills. And you saw them on full display right here, leading in the big-time breakup. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. But he can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. And they will continue to go backwards He's taken down for a set. It's just so hard to get anything going when you're just not confident running your own system and all these early sacks. Yes, they kill drives, but think what it does to the quarterback. The quarterback just can't be confident operating out of the pocket. There's no rhythm, there's no timing, and everything you planned on doing today coming in is out the window. Here's Bradley Pinion now, and he'll be looking for something better after that poor first punt. Now, fair catch called, and he's going to take it out beyond the 25-yard line. The Chargers offense ready to get back to work. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. job there to move the chains early in this drive but now as they approach midfield continue to keep your foot on the gas don't get conservative don't start sitting on the ball cross midfield and go 
Anytime you find yourself in your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. The man in motion here is Chark. They run on the jet sweep. And this defense having nothing of that. They get him down behind the line. Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second along. It's second down and 12. Throwing now is Herbert. That's the rookie from Georgia. It's Lad McConkey. And he'll be very close to a first down. Won't quite have enough, but now a much more advantageous spot. Seemed like the receiver might ran through like five different open zones, but once he found the one that he liked, where the quarterback was expecting him, you see him do a nice job throttling down, secures the catch, and he's able to pick up a nice game. Trying to pick this one up on the ground. And the drive will continue. Good run down to the 44. And a first down. I think everybody in the stadium saw that run coming, Mike, but good luck stopping it. I mean, all he really had to do was just fall forward, and it would be enough to pick up the first down. The break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Now, Herbert. Short pass taken in by the tight end. And he'll get it up four here as he is taken down. impressive thing about this drive Mike has really just been their efficiency they've just continued to pick up first downs fresh sets of downs we just saw there with that third down conversion continue to possess the ball these opportunities to come away with points continue to go up Herbert now on first down and he'll get this forward for positive yardage as he covers up in the end well, give him some credit. Initially, that looked like it was going to be a sack. He's able to escape the pressure and get away. Picks up a little bit of yardage, but at least he avoids taking that shot. Second and seven. On play action, it's Herbert. Open man's got it. That's Chark. to play in the first half. Greg and I back to Atlanta in a moment. Herbert to throw on third and one. He's got his tight end. That's Hurst. And he's going to have the first down taken down after a short pickup of five, but it will keep the drive going. Now they're entering the area of the field, especially with the amount of yards they've gained on this possession, Mike, where it feels like a touchdown is critical. From the defense, so he's trying to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not, and be taken down there. Feels like they needed that sack this entire drive. It feels like the defense was really on their heels. The offense was taking it to them really however they wanted to so to be able to take a deep breath now disrupt the rhythm of the drive by getting that sack that might go a long way now to allow them to get off the field here's a second and 12. now it's herbert oh and this one's gonna wind up incomplete that's one you'd think he'd be able to corral 
He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Here in the first half, we've seen nothing but connections from these two guys. I mean, they've come out completely on fire. So the defense finally gets a stop, and really the first time we've seen these guys be a little bit off. This one intercepted. to sit here, Mike, and say there's ever a good time to throw a red zone interception, but in this case, it's the first half. You have the rest of the game to get yourself back down here in the red zone and make up for that miscue, because next time they get down here, they got to be a lot more careful when they decide to air it out. The Falcons offense is going to see what they can do in the final minute of this first half. This will begin at their own 13-yard line, so work to do starting with this first and 10. Now a screen going to be set up for Robinson. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Here's second and two. Rush comes. They're setting up the screen. Give them 13 on that screen play. And a first down. The thing that jumps out to me the most, Mike, is just how often the quarterback is able to throw the ball to his first read in the progression. So hats off to the play call. Him and the quarterback seeing the game through the exact same set of eyes. And there is a lot of room to operate. Youngway Koo now for the extra point. He gets it to go. And the Falcons are on top. It's now 10 to 7. team gonna let that one go it'll go through the end zone it's a touchback the Chargers offense gonna get it one final time in this first half they'll start it here with a first and ten time here in Atlanta and the Falcons are in the lead as we'll send you down to Orlando now where Jonathan Coachman as our EA Sports halftime report 
Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment. But for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Report. For the Falcons in the first half, they were led by their quarterback, the veteran Kirk Cousins. He had a touchdown pass in that first half, helping his guys to a halftime advantage. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This was a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. Coach, thanks. This one's still anyone's game. We'll see if we come out with a hot hand in this second half. About to get started. Three points. All that separates these two sides as half number two kicks off. Here's Darius Davis to return it. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The Chargers offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And he's had trouble getting on track in this one. Really limited space to find an opening. The defensive front stopping him multiple times. Generally, he has not been a big factor in this game to this point. Three tight ends in the game to start the drop. Here's a run to begin this third quarter. That's on the rookie from Notre Dame, Joe Alt. play fake. Herbert. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. So often we see when those balls get deflected up into the air, they usually turn into interceptions. I think the offense dodged the bullet here, and they're fortunate there was nobody in the area to come down with that pick. The man in motion here is Chark. Out of the gun, here's Herbert. The second down throw is incomplete. He decides to go with this safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks. And at this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. Third and long. Herbert to throw. He'll try to run for it. He slides and covers up at the end, avoids the hit, and picked up decent yardage along the way. Sometimes it's just a case of taking what the defense gives you. And here's one of those examples. There's nowhere for him to go with the ball for a minute and looked like he was going to be able to pick up this first down with his legs. The defense rallies, brings him down short of the first down marker, sets up fourth down. The charger gets set to kick it away. As he'll punt it away for the second time. That's a nice job of getting to him, making sure that return was not going anywhere. There's Kirk Cousins. He and the Falcons set for their next drop. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. They'll come up here first and ten. They go play action with Cousins. Had a good throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. Timing and trust. Critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Now Robinson, and he'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. These edge rushers, they are judged by their sack totals, Mike. They love to rush the passer. 
but they have responsibilities in the run game as well. Great job here, keeping it to no gain. It is third and 10. Working out of the gun, it's Cousins. He'll take a shot down the middle of the field. And he's going to be dragged down, but not until he's inside the 25. And it's the arm talent, Mike. It's on full display. His ability to step up in the pocket, get everything behind that ball, and throw a laser downfield. That's not a throw that all quarterbacks in the NFL are capable of making. And I think it was pretty good defense. Just turned out to be a better throw. Play action now. It's Cousins. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. Try again, it's second and ten. And they'll run out of the gun. Here comes Robinson. And he'll only manage to pick up three yards. And that leads to third down. to throw. In trouble. Down he goes. If they win this game, this pass rush is going to be a big reason why. The five sacks speak for itself, but their ability to disrupt the timing of this offense, that can't be overstated. is young way Koo to try the field goal. Spotted at the 35, this is a 45-yard attempt. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Falcons will extend their third quarter lead. Visitors offense and Justin Herbert getting set for this next drive and this defense has really had their way so far intercepting him twice forced into a number of bad throws and generally the D has just made it tough to operate all game long. to work with. It is first down and ten. On play action now. Herbert. He connects with this one. And they'll get this one down to the 35-yard line. The nice thing about these crossing routes, Mike, is it doesn't stress your protection. It's a very easy, high percentage completion for the quarterback. And when done right, you can get the ball into the hands of your receiver in open space with a lot of room to run after the catch. From the 35, it's first and 10. A handoff as they try to run it here. Space to run inside the 20. And he'll be out of bounds at the 5. A big play and a much needed one as well. And even 30 yards. 
the challenge of playing a running back like this is you feel like you have him under control. You're doing a nice job putting a lid on him, and then all of a sudden, he's got a big spark play like this. That's the challenge. These guys are just so talented. You can only keep them down so long. That was a really nice run. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. Ball at the three, second down, and goal. He'll try to run this one in. And he won't quite get in. Down to the one, setting up third and goal. territory they didn't need to do it on fourth down taking care of it on the third down for the touchdown yeah and when you find yourself down here this close mike you have to finish these drives off i'm with you i think he was going to give his back two shots there to punch it in but he only needed one dicker now for the extra point he knocks it through and the Chargers move out in front by a point. It's 14 to 13. send this one away. McLeod now to return. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. Well, Falcons offense ready to get back at it. The deficit is one as they'll search now for that go-ahead score. Set to go now on first and ten. Pitts is the man in motion. On first down, Cousins. To the right, that's Pitts. And he'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. They face second down and seven. the shotgun. It's Cousins. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. Well, the run after catch is certainly nice, and they're definitely going to take it. But watch the savviness of the route running. Certain guys just have a better feel for running these slant routes than others, and it's a nice result. Pitts is the man in motion. On first and ten, Cousins. They try to set up the screen, but this one doomed from the start. It's incomplete. They just rush that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage, but I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. Now a second down throw for Cousins. He's got his man. It's Mooney.
Here's a third down and four. Cousins. And that is incomplete. Great pass rushers live for third down, especially when they know the offense has to be one-dimensional. And this is a great example here, Mike. They can just pin their ears back and go. They know there is no threat for run. It is a must-pass situation. And for this offense, they're lucky it didn't result in a sack. That's going to be out of bounds. Well judged and spotted right at the 10-yard line. The visitor's offense. And they're running back, set to go once more. They'll have a long field ahead of them as they start first and 10. From the gun, it's Herbert. seeing the field the way that he needs to. Now, give credit. A big part of this is the defense doing an excellent job disguising its coverages all game long. Just before the snap, when he thinks he has the answers, the secondary changes the questions, and they've been rewarded with three picks for their effort. First and ten. On the option, here's Robinson. And he's fighting to try to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not do it. This is going to be a loss of a yard. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. They'll go again with Robinson. Well, Mike, you know the old saying, more tight ends on the field, the better. And in this case, it worked out perfectly. A lot of big bodies on the field, hat for a hat. Nice job there by the back, picking up a good game. Now a third and two. They'll try to run for it with Robinson. And the Falcons are going to be set up with a first and goal. Good running. Gets him down to about the four-yard line. Cousins gonna throw. To the goal line and in. Great London. Touchdown, Falcons. So now, with the lead up to five, they're going to go for two and try to extend it out to seven. On the handoff, it's Robinson. And he gets in for the two-point conversion. And the lead bumps up to seven. Not a real complicated breakdown needed here, Mike. In short yardage situations like that, if you have confidence in both your back and your offensive line, Sometimes it's the simplest plays that have the best results.
the kicks away. Davis now to return it. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. So now here comes the Chargers as they get set to take over once more. They're searching here for the tie score. Down 21-14. They'll begin first and ten. Pistol here for Herbert. That's to the tight end first. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. They'll come up now for second down and four. Here's Dobbins. Can he get away? No, he's taken down behind the line. Good job by the defense with a negative play. How often do we see linebackers be so fast trying to track down the ball carrier that they end up actually overrunning the play and allowing the running back to cut back, but not this guy. Does a great job staying in phase, stretching this ball out sideways, and he brings him down for a loss. And that is incomplete. Empowering an aggressive decision here on fourth down. It just seemed like a really wasted possession to go three and out, not able to pick up a single first down. Not only do you not able to gain any field position advantage, it really takes a lot of the wind out of your sails as you find yourself jogging off the field and the puck team coming up. McLeod to return. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. The home team's offense and Kirk Cousins heading back on the field. And he has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. We've got the two touchdown passes over 200 passing yards. He has been excellent all game long. From the 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. Throwing his cousin. That'll be caught by the running back, Robinson. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. I think the days where cornerbacks are either unwilling or unable to be involved in the run game, I, I think those days are over, Mike. I think when you look around the landscape of today's NFL, yes, you have to cover, but you also have to be able to come up and tap. They motion the slot man left. On second down, it's a run with Robinson. He'll get about three, and that's going to lead to third down. Here now, third and five. Pitts is the man in motion. On third down, they'll set up to throw. They'll look to set up the screen here. Give him 13 on that screen play. And a first down. We see this week in and week out, Mike. These running backs in today's game, they really have the skill set of a wide receiver. So if you're going to guard them one-on-one, -on -one, and you know the offense is going to use him in the passing game, you better have that guy. You better have that matchup guy that you're confident to put on him and say, okay, you're going to go out there in space and defend a receiver like this. And after plays like that, I'm not sure how much more man coverage they can afford to play. He'll be brought down after a short pickup to the 45. Here's a second and nine. Throwing now, Cousins. And that is knocked away, incomplete. Nice play defensively on what will be 
the final play of the third quarter. Third down and nine. Pitts is the man in motion. Cousins out of the gun on third down. He'll get this to McLeod. I think there's one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks. And now they got a fourth down decision to make. This one angles out of bounds, and the mark comes inside the 15-yard line. The visitors' offense ready to take over once more. They'll begin with first down from their own 11. sense of urgency you know you need to score twice so this one ideally for the offense results in a touchdown but either way this first score of the two needed needs to be fast because you need every possession you can here late in the fourth quarter and he'll be taken down up at the 40 yard line every quarterback's dream is can i get the ball out of my hand as fast as possible and get it to a guy that can do the rest after the catch. And it seems like nowadays, throughout the entire league, the best offenses thrive in yards after the catch. They'll keep it on the ground. Not much there, maybe a yard. Here's second and nine. Out of the gun, here's Harper. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. to take off. He gets 15 yards and a first down. 
This is an element that defensively you always have to be ready to defend. You can't just accept that it's a pass and be so consumed with the receivers downfield. You have to account for the quarterback as a scrambler. You can see why as he's able to get out of the pocket and pick up the first down. Here's first and ten. here looks like one of the defenders got a head start so a lot of options on the table now it's first and five Incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one. Like he really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him. He really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. Football, holding just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. That's Palmer, the man in motion. inside the five-yard line. It's a big play when they needed it the most. It's a gain of 34. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. Herbert to the air again. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. They let a golden opportunity slip away on that one. That's the matchup that they wanted. Jim Harbaugh unhappy with the officials, didn't like that call, and he throws the challenge flag. They're looking both at the feet to see if two were down, but also whether or not he had full possession of the football when those feet were down. fourth quarter. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. They'll run here. This is what every defense in the league is shooting for, Mike. Negative plays. That's how you kill drives. Force teams to play from behind the sticks. Great job here, taking them down for a loss. Oh, 
lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. He'll run. And he'll get about five past the 30-yard line. Wow, an important one coming here. Tie game, late, and this is third down. Now, Cousins. Now a screen going to be set up for Robinson. Good pick up a 16 on that screenplay. And a first down. You get in these situations, third down, tie game, fourth quarter. I mean, this is really where your quarterback makes his money. You are going to put your faith and say, all right, what is the best play for this offense to execute? And the game really rests in the hands of your quarterback. And he continues to come up with these third down pickups and continues to extend this drive. He's got a shot to come away the hero and win this game here late. They'll stick to the ground. They're going to move away from the tackle as he winds up gaining seven yards. Nice run there. Second down and three. Another run here for Robinson. And a spirited run there, somehow managing to gain a couple of yards. Here's Cousins. He's got his man. Right side. It's complete. And out of bounds, but not until he gets inside the 25-yard line. He's over 100 receiving yards on the afternoon now. And a first down to boot. Now, there's not a lot to this route. Man coverage, and you got a drag route. Give him a little something off the line and go. Win with speed. Good, accurate ball on the front shoulder pad. Allows him to pick up the rest after the catch and leads to a big game. A first down throw for Cousins. To the right. That's Pitts. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. We'll come to the line now on second and two. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. This drive's going to continue. They bring him down, but not before he picks up first and goal for his team. Second and goal. Working out of the gun, it's Cousins. And this is too far over the end line. It's incomplete. That's one he'd love to have back. An opportunity to score six was right there for the taking. Just wasn't quite meant to be. One of the biggest plays of the game right here. Third. And inches. Here's a run with their tight end. And he will not get in the defense. Standing their ground, pushing him back, and it sets up fourth and goal. What can you say about the effort of this defense, Mike? I mean, they find themselves backed up their heels on their own goal line. And not only did they come up with a big third down stop, they take them back for a loss. Brings up fourth down, and wow, they got a chance to make a huge goal line stand. And this one, right down the middle. It's good. And they take the lead here in the fourth quarter. In 
This has been such a tight game, but that's a big one right there. I mean, you need a kicker with confidence. Well, this guy, he fits the bill. He steps up and knocks it through to give his guys a lead here in the fourth quarter. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Davis now to return it. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The Chargers offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides. This drive kicks off with first and ten. Give it to Dobbins. And good blocking up front. Paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. Here's second and two. but will not happen here. He's going to lose a yard. Number one rule of run blocking for the offensive line is you don't want to allow penetration. It just doesn't give your running back any angles to cut and find the hole. It's exactly how it played out here. They've got to do a better job holding the line of scrimmage and not getting pushed back. On the ground, here's Goblin. set to take over once more we'll have a short field looking to build on the lead they'll come up first and ten at the 40 to play a pickup of 12 yards first down Atlanta they run over center with Robinson and he surges forward for a gain of about five and we'll see a timeout used by the defense stopping it right out of the break a minute 57 to go in the game. They'll come up here on second down and five. It's a give up the middle to Robinson. Maybe a couple there. It's third down. Whistles here. We have another stoppage. Timeout called by the defense with 153 remaining. They'll come up to third and three. On the give, it's Robinson. And he's going to have a Falcons first down by about a yard. So they pick it up third and two.
The defense still with all three timeouts at their disposal as the quarterbacks down two and eight. Try to pick this up on third and eight. Victory formation here as he's down to an eight. Complete football game. They're going to send their fans home quite happy. 